I've just spent hours creating a beautiful branded presentation in Canva, but now my client needs it in PowerPoint and Google Slides. What do I do? Not a problem. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to export a Canva presentation to PowerPoint, to Google Slides. I'll share with you my own ninja tip to ensure that exporting to PowerPoint works like a dream. I'm also going to show you how to add clickable links to your presentation and then download the slides as a PDF file. We've got a fair bit to cover, so let's get started. To download a set of slides from Canva to PowerPoint, go to the top right hand corner of your toolbar, click the downward arrow and then find Microsoft PowerPoint. Please note that all interactive features such as GIFs and videos will not be accessible once you've downloaded to PowerPoint. You can download all the pages in your presentation or you can click the checkboxes to select individual slides. Canva will indicate the pages you've selected. I'm going to download all my slides. Click on Done and Download. Locate your presentation in your local folder and click on it to open it up. And there it is, there's my PowerPoint presentation. Unfortunately, some of the Canva formatting is lost in downloading, but my own little ninja trick will solve this completely, so keep watching. So let me now show you how to export your Canva slides to Google Drive. Go through the same process as you did with Microsoft PowerPoint. Scroll down and locate Google Drive. Click on the button. And go through the process of allowing Google Drive to connect with your Canva account. Select which Google Drive folder to save your slides to. Click on choose to select that folder. Now select your file type. Obviously we're going to scroll down and we're going to choose Microsoft PowerPoint. So click on Microsoft PowerPoint and click on save. To view your slides in Google Drive, just click on this turquoise link here, which will take you over to your Google Drive. The major benefit of Exporting to Google Drive is you can edit and collaborate in real time. To access your slides, click on the Open With tab and click on Google Slides. Again, as I scroll through, I think the only drawback in exporting Canvas slides to Google Drive is that some of the formatting is lost, but that really is the only downside. On the plus side, you can share your slides in real time with a client, a member of your team, or even a student. Share your slides, you'll need to send an email invitation. Type in the email address of the person you want to share your slides with. Type a message that you might want to include or a set of instructions. Now set your sharing permissions. You can allow a person to view the slides only. You can allow someone to add comments to the slides. Or you can give someone full permission to edit your slides. Once all that's done, click the send button to send the invitation. And this is what the email invitation looks like. There's the message. Now just click on the open button to access the presentation. I can either view the slides by scrolling down or I can click on the open with button and click on Google Slides to view them in my Google Drive.
to add a comment against any of the slides, click on insert and comment and then you can type a message which will be viewed in real time. Once you're done, just click on comment. If you're going to be presenting in Canvas slides, you can add your speaker notes right at the bottom. Finally, to download your work as Google Slides, go to the File tab, scroll down in the drop-down menu until you find Save as Google Slides. And now for that little ninja trick that I promised you. Here's how to export your Canva presentation to PowerPoint whilst keeping all that beautiful Canva formatting. Go to the top right hand corner of your toolbar and click download. You want to download all your slides as PNG images. Make sure you select all of them, click done and then download. Your images will download as a zip file. Locate that zip file and unzip it. And there are all the slides in image format. Now create a blank presentation in PowerPoint. Locate your Canva image files. Select them all and now drag and drop them into the left-hand column of your presentation file. And there is your Canva presentation exported to PowerPoint with all the Canva formatting. If you didn't know how to do this and you think this is gonna be a great tip for you, let me know in the comments section. Now I'm going to show you how to create clickable links within a Canva presentation because if you give webinars for instance or talks regularly there will be occasions where attendees or students will want to download a set of your slides and you may want to add um, a link to your website for instance within those slides. So you can see in the left hand corner here I've got a URL of my website and I want to make that clickable. So let me just highlight the text Go to the top right hand corner of my toolbar and click on the link icon. And then I'm just gonna type in my website address. Click on apply. And you'll see that the text is now underlined which means it's a clickable hyperlink. Let me show you another example. I want to include a clickable link to my blog post here. So I'm gonna go to the left hand sidebar and select some text. Let's get rid of that. Make this a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to add click to read. Change the font color so that that shows up. And now I want to add a hyperlink to this text. So I'm going to select the text, go to the link icon, and then copy and paste the blog URL into this box. I'm gonna click on apply, and there you can see the text is underlined, it's become a hyperlink, and that is all there is to it. Now all you need to do is download your set of slides as a PDF file. So go to the downward arrow here and click on it. Select your file type as a PDF standard. Select all pages or individually select pages, whichever you want to include in your PDF. I'm going to select all the pages, click on done, and then download to your local folder. Now I'm going to test out those hyperlinks to make sure they're working. So here's my PDF file. Let me just, here's the first hyperlink that I added. Let me just test that out. That should go to my website homepage, which it does, fantastic. And the second hyperlink I added, if you remember, was click to read. This should link out to my blog post about colour psychology, fingers crossed. And brilliant, there it is. 
there's my blog post about colour psychology. Excellent. And that is all there is to adding hyperlinks to a PDF file. That is it this week. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because next time I'm really excited to be sharing with you a brand new Canva feature. And it's got everything to do with presenting slides within Canva. I'm already excited about the next tutorial, so I hope I will see you then. Bye for now.